Have you heard of the Codex Gigas before? Can't say I have. It sounds important. Is it some special ancient treasure? Kind of. Standing at three feet tall, almost two feet wide, and 165 pounds, the Codex Gigas is the largest book in the world. Wow, that's interesting. So what does Codex Gigas actually mean? It means large book. Well, that's anticlimactic. Thanks for tuning in, lore lovers. The Codex Gigas means large book. Until next time. What? I'm not done. What's so special about the world's largest book? The Codex Gigas is actually more commonly known by its nickname, the Devil's Bible. We need to work on your presentation skills. Why didn't you lead with that? I thought the whole thing was interesting. Of course you would, nerd. Hey, lore lovers. We have talked about myths and legends from around the world on this channel. We've even delved into some myths like the Pied Piper or Tooth Fairy. But in today's video, we're going to be covering something much stranger. And that's the Devil's Bible. This book was bound in a folder made of wood, covered in leather, and decorated with metal. It has 310 sheets of parchment made of donkey or cow skin. That's 620 pages of writing and illustrations, and that's not counting the missing pages, which I'll get to in a moment. The Codex Gigas can actually be traced back to the 13th century. In Bohemia, which is now the Czech Republic. It belonged to a monastery in 1295. The original monastery that it came from was destroyed in the 1400s, so we don't know too much more than this about its origins. In 1594, the book came to Prague, where King Rudolf II took ownership of it. And in 1640, at the end of the Thirty Year War, Sweden took ownership of the Devil's Bible. In 1697, the library the book was being housed at caught fire. In order to save the book, it was thrown out the window, where it landed on somebody, injuring them. I feel like this is where the cartoon piano falling out of a window came from. A 165 pound book landing on you cannot feel good. The Codex Gigas stayed in the Royal Swedish Library until 2007 when it was put on loan to Prague and then returned in 2009. You know, call me crazy, but I was expecting a little bit more excitement from something called the Devil's Bible. So far, I just know it hurts if you throw it out the window and it lands on you. Why is it called the Devil's Bible? I'm getting there! Again, we need to work on your presentation. Okay, let's hear the good stuff. It was once called the eighth wonder of the world because of its size, beauty, and the actual contents within the book. For starters, it has the Bible written in it in several different languages. It also has several different alphabets written in the Bible, and that's including Hebrew, Greek, Latin, and Slavic. There's also a type of encyclopedia in it, calendars, writings about spells, and exorcisms. And all of this with heavily decorated pages and illustrations. And this is where it starts to get really weird. The picture of the devil himself is on page 290. And it's just him. Not him and his legions, not him being cast out from heaven. It's just him. And that's very strange for medieval works. They don't usually tend to give a whole portrait for the devil himself. Another peculiar thing is that the handwriting is all uniform. And this just means that there's no sign of aging, mood change, or fatigue while the author was writing it. Through time, our handwriting changes. If we're in a certain mood or just tired, our handwriting changes. And back then, we had to dip our pens or quills in ink. And there is no sign of the ink running low or blotting from when the quill was just dipped into the ink. It was as if the entire book was written by one person in one moment. If a single person wrote all of this, 
with the illustrations, with the decorations, it would take them 25 to 30 years to complete. To explain this, there is an interesting legend revolving the Devil's Bible. A monk committed a serious crime, so serious his punishment was to be walled up. And this just meant that he was going to be put in a room or closet, and then it was going to be walled up so he could not escape, and he would just die in there. To prevent this punishment, the monk vowed that he would write a book that would bring glory to the monastery in one night. The other monks agreed and let him get to work. As the hour grew late, the monk realized he could not do this. Instead of praying to God, he prayed to the devil himself for help. Selling his soul in exchange for this book, the devil arrived and wrote it all out in one night. And as proof of this, the devil signed it with his own self-portrait on the 290th page. It looks like this. That's crazy, right? Now, earlier I mentioned missing pages. The missing pages of the Devil's Bible are said to have incantations and spells on them. That if a mortal enacted any of these incantations, major chaos the world had never seen before would ensue. And so they were deliberately torn out. Some believed destroyed, others believed hidden. Others, however, believed the pages were stolen to fulfill a dark prophecy. However, this was stopped. Or that evil prophecy has been fulfilled and that's why this world is crap. Good point. In either case, these pages are now lost. Although some believe that these pages are now hiding in the libraries of the Vatican, but nobody is for certain. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mysteries, the occult, and a shady history. I don't know about you, but if I was doing a self-portrait, I think I would have made myself look a little better. Maybe he did. Or maybe the devil doesn't have self-esteem issues about his body. Can you imagine if he were? The devil comes to collect your soul and you just scream at him saying he's ugly? He freaks out running to a mirror and you escape? Somebody should write a story like that. Well, Lord Lovers, what do you think? Have you heard of the Devil's Bible? What do you think were on the missing pages? Do you think the Devil actually wrote this book? Let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to like and subscribe this video and hit that bell notification icon to be alerted for when the next video becomes available. Until next time, Lord Lovers.